Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make fermented garlic and honey. Both raw honey and garlic have really great benefits, so when you combine them together, you get a really great natural remedy that we like to use for immune boosting support and lots of other things. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this. It's so easy, it doesn't really even need a recipe, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is, and then after that, I'll talk about some more good things to know. So you're gonna start by peeling a bunch of garlic cloves. This is the most time consuming part of this recipe is just peeling all the garlic cloves. Whenever I'm fermenting, I always like to try to use organic produce. I have better results that way and then it's also better for you nutritionally. So we're just gonna start by taking these garlic cloves out of the head here. And then we're ready to start peeling. So when you're peeling them, you want to just put them under a knife and whack them somewhat gently. It's okay if you bruise the garlic a little bit, but you don't want to be crushing it too much. You want to try to keep them intact as much as possible. And then I'm just going to add them to my jar as I peel them. Sometimes it can be tempting to think of tasks in the kitchen like this as boring or repetitive and not exciting, not fun, but I like to think of it as like a mindful exercise, like being in the moment, enjoying something that you're doing with your hands, smelling the garlic, noticing all the different things about what you're doing, and then just using it as a time to let your mind wander. You don't have to be working on anything that's strenuous, like mentally draining, so your brain gets a break from maybe other work that you could be doing, or if somebody's around, you can talk to them. But I like to use times like this where I'm doing tasks that are a little bit more, you know, repetitive as positive times in my day. This can go for doing things like washing the dishes. That's a great sensory one. You can you have warm soapy water. You can if you have essential oils in your dish soap, you can enjoy smelling those. It's like a little aromatherapy session. Speaking of aromatherapy, this garlic smells so good. And I'm sure that's gotta have benefits, right? Smelling fresh garlic, especially during cold and flu season. And you can really make whatever amount of recipe that you want, just depending on the size of jar. It really comes down to how long do you want to peel cloves of garlic? That's really all there is to it. I'm gonna go with just this amount of garlic so that this video doesn't take 100,000 years. So I'll probably go back and add some more cloves maybe later. But for now, we're gonna go on to the next step. And this is really important, the amount of honey. So you want just enough honey to cover the cloves of garlic. And the reason for that is if you have too much honey, then the mixture is not gonna have the right percent of moisture. So the fermentation won't happen correctly. So we're just going to pour in enough honey to cover the tops of the garlic cloves. Make sure they're settled down in there. Okay, and it's gonna take a little bit for the honey to run all the way down and surround them. So what I'll do is give it a little bit of time 
check on it after a few minutes and then add some more if I need to, if I see some sticking up above the honey. So the end result should be solid honey with garlic in it and all the garlic cloves submerged in honey. And then that's it. So like I said, I'm gonna come back and fill this with more garlic cloves and honey, but for now, that's the process. So then you just put a lid on and then this is a little bit of a unique ferment in that the care for it while it's fermenting does take a little bit of hands-on time, not bad, but you do have to do a few things. So the entire fermentation time is gonna be about one month. You can start eating it before the month is up, that's fine, but it's technically done fermenting after about a month. During the first two weeks especially, but maybe throughout the entire month, you're gonna want to, to loosen the jar a little bit and burp it just to release those gases as it's fermenting. Another thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is rotate the jar. So you can either flip the jar upside down or you can open it up and stir it. I prefer flipping it just so that you're not letting outside air in. So the garlic is gonna to want to float at first. So you'll just wanna check on it every few days and you know, whenever you go to burp it and see is it, you know, are they starting to float up to the top? If they are, then go ahead and rotate that jar so that they stay submerged. After about the first couple of weeks, they're not gonna float so much and you won't have to keep doing that. As it starts to ferment, you're gonna see bubbles start to being produced and that's a good thing. And that's it, that's the process for making fermented garlic honey. Just to recap, you peel all your garlic cloves, any amount that you want, put them in your jar and just cover them with honey. For the next couple of weeks, check on it every few days, burp the jar to let out gases, rotate the jar to keep the honey submerged. After the first couple of weeks, you won't have to do that very often, if at all. And then after about a month, it's done fermenting. You can eat it before then, but it'll be done at a month. This is a great thing to keep on hand, to have those nice antiviral, antibacterial benefits from the garlic, as well as the benefits of the raw honey. So it's a great natural remedy to keep on hand. I have some other natural remedy videos, which I'll link below, like making elderberry syrup and salves and different things like that. Let me know in the comments down below, what are some of your favorite natural remedies for the cold and flu season? I'll have links down below to one of my favorite places to buy organic garlic, as well as other organic groceries and pantry staple items. I'll also have a link below to the full written recipe card if you wanna get exact written instructions. Also check out that description box for links to free eBooks and other goodies. Okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think might wanna know a powerful natural remedy they can make easily at home. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.